when it seems that there cannot be more outer space looking car than Tesla's Cybertruck, California-based startup Canoe announces their prototype design for a pickup truck and minivan. Let's dig a bit deeper in design, specifications, and possibilities. Oh, before we start, please be sure to like and subscribe. Revealed in a leak on Reddit and then subsequently confirmed to Reuters before officially being revealed, the head-turning EV truck is not due out until 2023. By that time, Tesla's Cybertruck, the electric Hummer pickup, Ford's electric F-150, and Rivian's EV pickup should all be on the road. Canoe said it'll start taking pre-orders for its pickup later year 2021, but did not release pricing details. The startup is also reportedly in talks with other states for a micro-factory where a contract manufacturer would build the vehicles. The toyish truck shows just how far Canoe's willing to push the design of the micro-bus-style vehicle it first debuted back in 2019, which it originally planned to sell on a subscription-only basis. Canoe has undergone a lot of changes since its debut first vehicle, though it's now a publicly traded company after it merged with a special purpose acquisition company in late 2020. Its new executive chairman has also refocused the company on selling commercial vehicles based on the original van design and the technological platform that powers it. But all of that doesn't mean Canoe is exactly done trying to make vehicles for regular consumers. This new truck sort of bridges the two set of customers thanks in part to being loaded up with all sorts of utility features. There are multiple fold-down and flip-out work surfaces on Canoe's pickup, with one in the nose of the vehicle and another on the side of the truck bed. There's an extension that can be pulled out to make the bed a few feet longer. There are power outlets, 120 volt and USB, dotting the inside of the bed and the storage compartments. Promo images also show the truck decked out in full rack and in a bid to capitalize on the booming van life market, an overlander trim with a camper shell and a pop-up tent. This is all in keeping with the vision of Canoe's original vehicle, which was decked out in pegboards on the inside that the company imagined people could use to customize and personalize the vehicle, and the ability to use the new truck's modular features in so many different ways, and to customize them from the start when ordering, is what Tony Aquila the startup's new executive chairman hopes is a big selling point for the small business and more adventurous consumers that Canoe is targeting. When the working person sees this, they go, I can have a better quality of life with this vehicle, and I can get a return on capital. And every one of these areas is a space to create a return on capital, which is why we spent so much money to develop the most intelligent truck bed. Aquila said in a video announcing the truck, Canoe spent $47 million on research and development in 2018, $137 million in 2019, and $52 million through the first three quarters of 2020, according to available government filing. The sloped roof of the truck also tracks with Canoe's original vehicle, though it's a far more familiar design feature for a van. Fortunately for Canoe, Tesla has already started stretching the public's imagination of what a pickup truck can look like. That was our dream, to make sure that we had a vehicle that brought a truck to the market that just really shocked people just from the visual. Then to the functional, Aquila said in the video, This is for America. This is what built America anyways. Canoe's truck will be built on the same platform that powers the company's other proposed vehicles, which means it largely shares the same specs across a number of configurations. The highest cost all-wheel drive truck will have around 600 horsepower and more than 200 miles of range while the lower cost versions will get close to 100 miles of range and feature a single motor in the rear. Aquila told Reuters he thinks Canoe can find a way to up the range to 300 miles by the time it's released. The truck also uses the same brake-by-wire and steer-by-wire system Canoe developed for its other vehicles, which reduces complexity. These technologies have made it possible for the startup to mate so many different designs to the same underlying technological platform. They're all also things that drew the interest of Apple, which at one point wanted to acquire Canoe, as The Verge exclusively reported earlier this year. That's it for this time. Press like and subscribe and check out our other videos. Thanks for watching.